Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, look, I wanted to make this video, and I tell you, I, I'm having a time getting this thing up and posted. Uh, I've heard that many others who are putting uh, this type of information on the Internet are having problems. And, and I mean, I tell you, I've had a hard time just trying to get this video recorded today. So I'm going make, I'm to make it quick. If I can come back and make longer videos just to give you uh, give you guys a little more understanding of what I'm trying to show you, I will do that. But I have a few minutes just to get this posted. Number one, you're looking at a Ferris wheel. Okay, 30 years ago, the Lord gave me a vision of the rapture. I was in a place that um, I, I don't know where it was, but I know it was it was at twilight time you know what twilight time is and i was walking down a path and i saw a ferris wheel just like the one that you see in the video the next thing i know i was flying through the air and this is what i saw i'm, I'm not sure if you can make it out real well but it is a it was a very dark circular blue line that was in the sky, but it, it was about this size. It was not a full circle. This helps, helps you understand a little bit more of what I saw. Now, after I saw the Ferris wheel, or after I looked at the Ferris wheel, immediately I felt myself flying through the sky, through space. And this is what I saw. Now, I, I had no idea what this was when I saw it until years later when I looked in a book called Blue Planet and I came to learn that this is a picture of the earth. Okay, so let me go back to the Ferris wheel. Now, again, when I saw the Ferris wheel, Immediately, I felt myself flying in there and I saw the picture, the blue horizon picture of the earth. And again, I did not understand what this was until years later when I saw a picture of that of that of the earth in a book called The Blue Planet. This was a picture that was taken by the Hubble spacecraft. Now, when I had the rapture vision. I had no idea what the rapture had to do with the Ferris wheel. And this vision was 30 years ago. Around 2013, when the Lord began awakening many of us at the time of the rapture was upon us. And this is also the time we began to learn from Mark Biltz that there were four blood moons coming in 2014 and 2015. So at this same time, I'm riding down the street in Dallas, Texas, a street called Forest Lane at 75. And I, I, I thought to myself, what did the, the rapture have to do with the fair and the Holy Spirit said it was the time that the rapture would take place during the fair season. Okay, I want to show you a couple of pictures, so hold on. In fact, let me just tell you this. The fair comes to Dallas, Texas, late September, the last week of September. Uh, it leaves Dallas, Texas, and this year it will arrive in Shreveport, Louisiana, October the 25th. It will be here October 25th uh, to November the 11th. OK, I personally believe that this is a very high watch time for the rapture to take place. And I want to tell you why. OK, give me a minute. Now, I'm going to try to make this quick. In 2013, I knew the rapture was about to take place, but I knew it would take two to three years, maybe four years, certainly not more than five years. But I knew it would take, the process would take at least two to three years. Now, the one issue I had was I did not understand how the covenant would be confirmed. 
2014 went by, 2015 went by, and I did not understand how the covenant was going to be confirmed. Now in 2016, uh, I really knew the rapture. I felt the rapture was going to happen because I saw a commercial that showed this, this picture. Okay. I saw a commercial that showed this picture. This right here is the same thing I saw in the rapture vision. And it said it's 2016. So from seeing that commercial, I just knew the rapture was going to happen, but it didn't. But shortly after uh, right this same time in 2016, I learned what the confirmation of the covenant would be. Now, in my eyes, in 2013, there would be a man who would stand or make a speech at the UN, the United Nations, and he would declare that Jerusalem was Israel's capital. Okay. This actually happened in December, on December 6, 2018. Now, President Trump actually recognized Jerusalem, I'm sorry, December 6, 2017, and he ended up actually opening the embassy in 2018. Now, this is the revelation I saw. As I'm writing down, because I write, I wrote down that this coming week is the last week of October, and it is also the week that the fair is coming to Shreveport, Louisiana. And immediately it came to my mind that this is the time that the vision will come to pass. As I stated before, this is something I believe. I'm not sure if the rapture will happen or if this is something the Lord is showing me, but what I can tell you from what I believed in 2013, that a man would, a man would recognize Jerusalem as Israel capital. And that would be the beginning of the seven years of tribulation. Now, this is the first year that the rapture will come to town after this covenant has been confirmed. No one can deny that President Trump against world opinion recognized Jerusalem and against world opinion, he also opened up the embassy in Jerusalem. And because of those things, uh, I believe that this year is the year that the vision I believe the Lord gave me will come to pass. And I believe the rapture, it's very possible the rapture will happen uh, between October 25th and November the 11th. Now I'm going to cut this video off and I'm going to come back to make it a little bit longer, but I want to post this for those of you who uh, are wondering why the rapture has not happened.